guys, Coach Hutchinson here with the newest version of the HLX 360 drill. Today we're going to focus on the three-man, four-column. Uh, it's a great fundamental stick work drill that we do with our guys frequently. Uh, gets you a lot of reps and it also allows you to kind of really focus on some uh, improvements. All right, in this, everything matters to us. All right, so our handwork on how we catch the ball, how we throw the ball. Our footwork on how we're preparing to receive it and to throw it. Um, and then we want to focus on those fundamentals the entire way through. So it's also... How can we catch? How do we deliver the pass? How do we get from after we throw to our next roll? All right, the efficiency of our movement is really, really important. All right, and that's not only when we catch to throw, all right, it's also from how we get from point A to point B and how we should be preparing for our next roll. All right, and we want to make eye contact. That's a big thing for us. We want to make sure that we're seeing who we're throwing the ball to. All right, so how the drill will set up here. All right, we have three guys on the perimeter. All right, we're going to have four cones all right, inside, and these will be anywhere from seven to 10 yards apart from each other in a square, all right, or a box. Um, ball will start with our guy number one here. Right, and there's so many different variations to this, right, so you guys can be creative and, and we'll be creative. We'll do, um, you know, throw ready across our body, catch across our body right-handed, all right, throw lefty across our body, but also catch across our body left-handed. Uh, we'll do catch right, throw left, catch left, throw right, uh, with the hand exchange in front of our body. And we'll also do catch, roll to the outside, throw with the opposite hand. All right, so fundamentally, how this drill will work, all right, one, hold deliver the first pass here, all right, to number two. And like I said, we can be creative. We'll probably start with our right hand, throw across our body, um, and this guy's going to work on catching the ball around the cone, and then deliver the ball here to number three. All right, that'll be our second pass there. Now, after number one gives the ball up here to number two, he wants to make sure that he's sprinting. All right, and you can see that I didn't just draw a straight line like we normally have with our pass. All right, this guy's got to sprint to work to get around the cone. All right, we want to catch this triple threat so that as three can deliver this pass. All right, this is now our third pass. Number one kind of did that nice arcing movement, got here. He's going to catch, open up his hips because number two is doing the same thing of following that nice trajectory to get to there. All right, we'll do this rapid fire for maybe 30 to 45 seconds. Uh, we'll get a lot of touches with our guys, and then we'll move on to the next variation of this. All right, if we start with our right hand, we'll probably move on to our left hand. All right, catch left-handed, throw across our body, and then move on to our next roll. All right, it's very important um, when we talk about the efficiency of our movement, when we do get to the catch with one hand, throw with the other hand, all right, a lot of guys, especially at the young age, if we're number three and we had just caught the pass here from number two, all right, it's really important that after this pass, all right, we don't want to catch, fl flip our hips, throw this way, but have our momentum already going this way. More often times than not, that's going to lead to a pass that's probably going at that angle because our momentum's going this way as well. So we want to have our momentum going to where we want the ball to go to, and then we just got to work a little bit harder to get to our next roll. All right, that's three man, four cone. Here we will see two separate game applications of three-man, four-cone. The first is from a clear. Watch these three Harvard players swivel their hips, move to the ball, and deliver different passes leading to a clear. The second clip shows our offensive player moving to the ball, catching athletically to dodge or feed, then splitting to the middle of the field to score. 